Okay, I decided to do this really quick tutorial to show web developers what to do if they've updated to Windows 10 and found that their XAMPP server just refuses to start. You can add XAMPP to the new Windows 10 Start menu icons like this. Go to All Apps, go to Apache and Friends, and then right click on the XAMPP control panel. You'll have pin to start menu here and you want to select that. I've already pinned mine so you can you can see it says here unpin from start. But you want to pin it from selecting this right here. Since mine is pinned, you can go here. Mine is already running, so I don't need to choose this option right now. As you can see, mine is running. If yours isn't, you'll have a start button here instead of a stop button. And if you try to hit the start button and it doesn't start, you might have to do a few things first. Come up here where it says SCM and click that button. That opens the service panels right here. Scroll down to the very bottom and you'll find Worldwide Web Publishing Service. Right click on that and then you'll have stop here. Mine is running as XAMPP and it's working so mine says start. But you want to hit the stop button and you want to stop it. Okay, close out of that and then you want to try and restart your XAMPP panel again, your Apache server again right here by hitting the start button. If it still doesn't work, you might have to shut down the entire computer and bring it back up again and then go through all those steps again. Go over here to SCM, open the service panel, come down, right click, hit stop, and then go and hit the start button again. Okay, everything should be working fine now and you should find that your Apache server is running. This is Stars and Dust, signing off until next time.